I'm Roy Robertson. This is Good Business San Diego. Keith Klinger is with USA Home Inspectors, and he is a board-certified master inspector. And Keith's here today to talk about the health risks, risks that are related to toxic mold in our homes. USA Home Inspectors has a team of board-certified master inspectors who are comprehensively trained and tested annually to meet the industry standards of inspection, reporting, and customer service. So, Keith, welcome in. Good to have you Thank here. Thank you so very much. Let's go with Mold 101. What do people know? <laughs> How do they need to be concerned about toxic mold that's in their home? Why? Uh, according to the CDC, uh, mold can have a wide range of symptoms. Anything from just a stuffy nose all the way up to, like, chronic lung disease. Um, people, um, you know, expecting mothers, uh, younger people, people that have uh, immune compromised things are, are actually pretty highly susceptible to mold infections. So uh, it's a real respiratory risk for everybody, but particularly those categories, as you point yes, out. Yes, so, those that would be at risk, yes. So let's talk about why you are here today specifically. Is this like a winter weather related thing? You're seeing more cases this time of the year. Exactly, exactly. You know, with all the rain that we've had the last couple months, people have had flooding backed up sewers, leaky roofs, all kinds of things that can go on in their house. And that leaves behind the moisture that mold needs to grow. Mm -hmm. So you, a lot of people might not think about it, um, but you, just because you had a leaky roof, but there could be mold growing behind that drywall now. Right. And you know, some of those levels can be uh, pretty high, elevate pretty quickly, and become really dangerous for people, as you mentioned. And I guess the key is to stay on top of it, right? Absolutely. I, I, I did a... Um, uh, an inspection in Claremont here recently. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a tenant and they didn't feel like their landlord had cleaned up properly after the mold and they asked me to come and, and take a mold sample inside the wall. Well that sample, as you can see here on the graphic, was uh, about 300 times higher than what was generally considered safe. Off the charts <laughs> is what it was, right? It was literally off the charts. You know, a, a, a spore count of 800 spores per cubic foot is considered safe. This one was 230,000. And that, that's a specific type of mold that you were telling me about, which I won't even dare to try and pronounce. Uh, do, you, do you know what aspergillosis is? No, but it does not sound good. I, I don't know what it is either, but doctors <laughs> say it's really bad for you. And that does not sound good. So, <laughs> so we're going to take a look at a couple of pictures. And so if you have any question as to whether it is that you do have some mold damage in your home, maybe we'll be able to identify and see if some of these look familiar to you. So I, I thought this would be a great idea okay. because uh, you... Personally, after almost 20 years of doing this, I can't tell the difference if it's mold or not mold by looking at it. I need to take a sample and right. send it to a lab. Okay. So this looks terrible. And we took a sample of this. This was in somebody had a really re leaky roof. No mold. No mold in that. No it, mold. It actually looks more like fire damage, doesn't it? It, it does, but it's water damage from okay. the leaky roof. All right. And then, and then this. That's mold. You betcha. Okay, yeah. Well, that looks familiar. That <laughs> looks what, like something that's happened recently at my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of mold? I don't know. Exactly. And so that one, we took a sample and it came back. Okay. And then this, uh, I don't even know what that is. That that's, looks like abstract art. It, it is abstract art. That's a dirty shower. Um, that is actually a bacteria. That is not no, a mold. Not so mold. it looks like a slimy mold, but it's actually a bacteria built up. But again, the dangers are really why it is that you need to act on this. And I think probably the best thing to do is for, you know, for people to have your number handy. If they need it, they want to act fast because it can grow fast, right? We can get somebody out to their house in 24 hours, get a sample and get it to the lab and then get it back right away. Okay. And so, you know, whether it's you as a homeowner or if you're thinking about buying a place too, uh, you can have that inspection done as well. Phone Number 619-289-8387 or usa-homeinspectors.com.